Welcome back to 5 Minute History, the show where I explain a historical topic in 5 minutes or less. This is part 2 in an episode about Tadeusz Kościuszko. In part 1 we covered his involvement in the American War of Independence and his involvement in the war against Russia in 1792. In today's episode we will cover the Tadeusz Uprising of 1794. If you have not already seen part 1, I would recommend checking it out before continuing to watch the rest of this video, as we will be referencing some things mentioned in that later in the video. Following the war with Russia, Kostchuko decided to leave the country. He settled in a Leipzig community where many Polish soldiers and politicians were already living. Soon he and others began plotting against Russian rule in Poland. Although the group had been plotting before the arrival of Kostyuko, his support was a massive boost for them, as at the time he was one of the most famous people in Poland. On the 23rd of January 1793, Prussia and Russia forced the second partition of Poland, making it a small country of only 4 million people. In September, Kostyuko went back to Poland to talk to high-ranking military officers who were sympathetic to his cause. He was planning on organising the uprising slowly. However, the situation in Poland was changing rapidly. Russia and Prussia were forcing Poland to disband most of its army, and the disbanded Polish troops would be conscripted into the Russian army. Agents loyal to Russia discovered the plot and began arresting Polish commanders. Kostyuko had to act earlier than he would have liked, and on the 24th of March 1794 gathered an army of 6,000 men and marched on Warsaw. Russians gathered to oppose him, and on the 4th of April at the Battle of Ratzowice, Kosciuszko personally led an infantry charge and it ended with a victory for the Polish forces. However, they did not have enough troops or supplies to hunt down and crush the Russian force. Kostyuko declared that serfs in Poland were entitled to civil rights, something that a lot of the rich simply ignored. However, it did inspire many of the poorest in Poland and Lithuania that Kostyuko would be worth fighting for. By June, the Prussians began militarily assisting the Russians, and he was engaged in a defensive battle for weeks, from late June until September, at Warsaw against them both. On the 10th of October, he was wounded and captured by the Russians. Without Kostyuko's leadership, the rebellion soon ended in defeat at the Battle of Praga, after which the Russian military massacred at least 20,000 civilians. The existence of a sovereign Poland or Lithuania now disappeared for 123 years. In 1798, France wanted his support for Napoleon's cause against Prussia one of Poland's partitioners. However, following a meeting with the French leader, he decided against it, as he didn't like Napoleon's dictatorial ambitions, and he did not believe Napoleon would restore Poland other than to be a French puppet. On the 15th of October, 1817, Kosciuszko passed away, a national hero of Poland, Lithuania, the USA and Belarus, who held views far ahead of his time. His close friend Thomas Jefferson said of him, He is as pure a son of liberty as I have ever known. Thank you for watching this episode of 5 Minute History. If you've enjoyed, please be sure to share the video and subscribe for more similar content in the future.